What's going down? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. This video came out of a misfortune that I'm making the best out of. Um, so in essence, I'm kind of giving a review for a uh, pickup that's in this base. Before I get to that, let's go back to the beginning story how this all started. So because I don't play all my bases like every day, I went and took an inventory earlier today of you know how each base sounds and see if I could reshuffle to get some new stuff whenever I make content for you all so you don't just hear me playing the regular funk and stuff like that you know uh, it's maybe my opinion different bases different feeling bases make you play different ways but my home is funk music pretty much as well as gospel and stuff so I kind of lean towards that but if I want to expand what I want what I'm doing I have to kind of move out of the comfort zone and, you know, uh, try to do more so I can get more and be better. Gold nugget, food for thought. Uh, but I went through and I was plugging in bases, you know, see if they work and how they sound and stuff. And I got to this one and uh, I plugged it in, sat down with it, settled in and all that, and uh, turned up the volume. Nothing. Okay. Battery. This is an active. To active base battery change the battery got a new one nothing so took it apart got to looking at maybe the battery clip was messed up uh, maybe it's not getting power to you know then I thought maybe the pickup is messed up maybe it's pinched off and I gotta run new leads to land on the the uh, control plate and all that stuff everything looked solid so only thing I thought was maybe it's a problem with the module so in order for my guitar to not my bass to not be on the shelf until I buy another setup I thought about hey this would be a good time to rather than buy a new bass just kinda of take what I have and build something new just to experiment so with that idea being said uh, I took my active uh, Frankenstein bass and I essentially made it passive by doing a uh, P bass circuit in it so it's exactly like a P bass would be so it's a volume and a tone and that's it only other difference the thing that makes this thing so sweet is what I want to talk to y'all today about this Aguilar Music Man pickup I forget the actual name of it uh, whenever I post this I'll probably uh, put it in the description as to what it is, where you can get it, how much it costs and stuff. But I think I paid 99 bucks from Sweetwater just for this pickup. And man, so it's hard for me to describe. Like, this sounded so good that I thought maybe, maybe it's the, the preamp circuit that I put in this that makes this so bright so crispy I know it has a lot to do with the placement of the pickup because it's close to the bridge it makes it more snappy but just just listen so how I'm gonna start this out is my tone is gonna be all the way off and I'm just gonna turn my volume up you know and I'm a uh, I'll rock probably you know one of the just a small song so you can get an idea for what it sounds like this is tone off first Let's get this started. Okay, tone all the way on. Actually, let me go back. Let's do tone off, slap. Uh, 
soon too. Um, so there's that. Now let's go tone all the way on. Completely 100, volume up. but I didn't have anything planned whenever I started this video. So, um, yeah, a pickup can make a world of a difference. And uh, I'm extremely excited because now I have something very basic that I could take anywhere. I don't have to worry about any batteries, just keep some fresh strings on it. And these are old strings too, so like, it's crazy. And uh, I think the string gauge that I have on here is uh, 100 to 40. I think, pretty sure. Uh, so it's a very light string. So um, yeah, I'm excited about this. Might be doing a few videos of just like, you know, slap grooves and stuff with this one. Cause this is just a plug and go. Can beat it up. This base only cost me like $129 when I first got it. Changed out all the, you know, cosmetic stuff on it. Made it my own, you know, added the little stickers and stuff like that, you know. And, uh, yeah, this thing is cool. So it's like I got a brand new bass, and all I did was just rummage an old P bass circuit, and uh, I think I stole it from my fretless bass. So I got to buy one for that, but that's fourteen dollars, and I'm not, I'm not the least bit worried about that. So um, it's been eight minutes. Thank y'all for watching. I'm at over eleven thousand subscribers now, and it's still amazing to me thank each and every one of y'all for watching uh if there's anything that you like for me to work on uh you know if i if it's in my ability i'll help out as much as i can uh if there's any songs or anything you want me to cover play anything like that i'll give it a go may not get it all the way right but i'll i'll give it a go so till next time this is alan brown aka bullet the kid y'all be easy